Oh man, my, my first professional boxing fight, it was surreal, man. It's unbelievable. I couldn't, I couldn't describe the feeling. It's a combination of excitement, anxiousness, nervousness. It was, and, and finally, step, it, was, it was a journey. It was finally stepping on that ring with the bright lights. Oh man, it was like, it's a dream come true. It's like, I dream about this, this is happening. One of the happiest moments of my life, definitely. Uh, why did I get into boxing? Uh, to be honest, it's not about uh, getting the money or the fame or anything else. Uh, for me, boxing brings, me, uh, br brings joy to me, to my family, and to my people back home in the Philippines. That's the daily grind. I think it's the... I think what boxing gives to me is the, the journey. I think it's a unique journey. It's, it's hard, a lot of obstacles, but the process of overcoming all those obstacles is one of the you know, satisfying, happiest feeling that you will ever have. Oh, bo boxing, it gives, me a, it, gives, it gives me like a meaning in life, I think. Like you said, that's like a martial artist, kind of spiritual uh, journey kind of thing. It makes me a better person. It makes the people around me, if, you're, if I'm on my, the happiest, the better mood, it makes, it's like, a, what do you call that? You, you're in a better environment every time. It's like, not, you, like you're excited, you can't wait to wake up the next day and do this. And that's, you know, that's boxing for me. I was born and raised in the Philippines. Um, grew up over there. I moved out here in the Bay Area in California about seven, eight years ago. So yeah, it's different, you know, very different. But um, I feel blessed that you know I get the opportunity. I'm one of the lucky, lucky ones. Yeah, it's, of course I miss home, but it's, it's nice living out here too. Especially over here in the Bay Area, a lot of Filipinos. It feels like you didn't just leave home. I come to, I came to America like a lot of Filipinos is for better opportunity. Over there, it's you know, it's 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 hard stuff life over there. Not a lot of work, not a lot of opportunity, and I'm one of the lucky ones that got over here and you know, like like continue to chase my dream. This is a dream. I, I went to San Diego, I went to school over there. I just recently moved out here about a year ago. I, over there, it, I kind of like find my, found myself. I got more focused on boxing. There's a boxing gym close to my house. It's called House of Boxing. Shout out to House of Boxing. And I, I met a lot of people over there that um, helped me and made me, made me the man right now. I met people that it's like I met people the likes of like Canelo, Jose Cito Lopez and that's that's the guys that I just only see on TV and, and I met them in person and they're like it it gives me like I could be like that too it's it's crazy feeling like that it fuels my my dream my drive to see those guys that I meet in the same roof it's unbelievable. <laughs> yes, uh, like I said, I used, uh, I used to live in San Diego for four or five years. And I met him over there actually. One of my, uh, they're, they're very good friends with my coaches over there. They work with him uh, before they have history together. And once I moved out here, moved back here in the Bay Area, uh, I decided that to go to him. He's one of the best coaches out here. He coaches the likes of Andre Ward, Amir Khan, and he's Filipino. We, we connect. He speaks Tagalog to me. It's, I feel like right at home when, when he's coaching me. It just, it just kind of like, you know, it clicks. Nico is really good fighters, and then he, he listen, he discipline kid. You know, that's why it give me motivation to train, because motivate him, I motivate him to train. He train hard, discipline, he don't drink, don't smoke. 
about that I like it and and uh, one thing I know he respect people too you know what I'm saying he I love him to work more you know and then now we did the uh, national poll last year he won it and then he won the national now we turn pro now he, uh, he got one fight in profession I want to see more goal success for bigger you know you know, but the weight is gonna be 112 though, not get bigger, but I want bigger name, not the bigger weight, you know? It's always a dream of me to be a pro boxer, but um, of course, I respect uh, to my coaches, coach, especially coach Roberto Garcia, that they make, you know, they make the decision if I'm ready or not. And yeah, we just we decided that let's do this. Another, another experience, another journey, another step. Pro my dream in professional boxing is, of course, my goal right now, get a lot of fights, win a lot of fights, and be able to get a world championship. Then have, step by step, multiple, multiple uh, weight classes, and you know, it's just non-stop. I see my five years from now, definitely got a lot of fights champion and happiest days of my life.